Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new, it's lovely to have you here and if you're coming back having been before then you're just as welcome. This week I'm going to be doing this very wearable everyday goth look which I shamelessly stole from the Sarah Monster here on YouTube and of course I will link her channel and her tutorial. She's an absolute sweetheart and she's one of the first people that I did come across um, when I started on YouTube and I was looking for people to give me some inspiration. She is so unbelievably beautiful. Wait till you see her. If you don't know her already, that is. I'm sure you do. But um, yes, I went looking for an idea for a look that everyone can wear every day because I have been doing some rather out there looks recently and not everyone is able to wear those every day. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an idea on something that I well I think it's very wearable it's still pretty damn goth but everyday goth if you like so if you'd like to see how you and I can get to this then do please keep on watching and so off we go with one eye already done and the first thing to do is to take our eyeliner and as usual, I'm using my Barry M and I'm going to take it just along the bottom and just along the tight line. I'm not taking it all the way along the bottom. Um, that will come at a later stage. Now, I did already prime this eye, but it's already gone into a crease and it's primed with Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, which is very good. So I have my Age of Opulence palette. There we go. And the reason I thought I would use this one is because a lot of people um, have it. And therefore it's, you know, it's something that people might have knocking around. And if you don't, then it doesn't really matter. Um, there's all sorts of different palettes that you could use for this. And I'm taking the lightest of the pinky purpley shades called Flapper. And I'm just going to put that very gently through my crease. All the way from the outside to the inside. And just gently buff the edges of it. It's a very nice colour this one and it's a great one to start off any look really. You could go lighter, you can go darker, you can basically do a lot with this. And I'm just going to soften around the edges like so. Then the next colour we're going to go with is the um, slightly darker aubergine colour which is called Dandy and instead of as normal I used to I usually start dark and then go to light but with this look I'm starting with the lightest and then going in with the dark just underneath just slightly underneath and just moving it into the actual crease bone eye socket, that sort of feeling. So you can feel where you're supposed to go with the brush. And this is a Jessup 231 Lux Petit Crease. So there you go, it's supposed to be in your crease. And then while we're doing this, I'm taking just a random tiny fluffy brush and because there's no white in the Age of Opulence, I'm using my singles. I've got a single um, sample beauty white and I'm just going round the edges with this just to get it 
to give the idea of it starting to fade upwards and bring it all the way round down my nose at the same time. And then I'm going to go back in with the darker purple, deepen it up a fraction, and then go back with the lighter flapper colour and just lift it up a tiny bit higher just so it's meeting that white to see if it's the same on the other side a little bit there we go now the next color that we're going to go with is the dark purple and that's the color called velvet so we're taking a brush and going right deep into the crease with this really getting that color going it's such a gorgeous color this I love it and I'm going to take it underneath all the way along and then I will go back in with the dandy and the flapper take those right along the lash line as well go back in deepen it up a bit more and then I have somewhere here we go I've got a very flat Jessup 226 smudger and I'm just going to try and copy what I've done on this eye bringing the colour across the other thing to have to hand is a small tiny flat I don't know what you call these it's not like an angled brow brush it's just a very very small flat brush and I'm going to go into the black in the palette and just go right up as close to my lashes as I can and at the same time start giving it the perception of a little wingette not a whole wing just a wingette We'll be coming back to that so I'm just going to check in my normal size mirror and of course the colors are completely completely way off anything vaguely in the air ballpark area of symmetrical so I'm just going to take a little bit more of this dark purple and a little bit more of the white sample beauty singles by the way very good highly recommend there we go lovely so we've got that going on and I'll just find a home for this there we go and the next thing to do is the lid and what I've done here is I've got various um, glitter shades I've got some concrete minerals loose pigment powder in the shade wicked and I've got some revolution oh, what's it called crushed what's it called crushed pearls crushed pigments crushed pearl pigments even in the shade saint I've mixed them up together with a bit of um, Mayron mixing liquid and somewhere I have a brush here I have a brush and I'm going to put this mixture all over the lid So it's almost like a cut crease, but without doing a cut crease, if you see what I mean. And it gives you a sort of 
greyish purplish sparkly sort of look I mean if you have got some mixing liquid it's worth having a go with any sort of powders uh, loose powders and seeing what sort of colors you can make with it it's like painting really there we go with that and then the other creation is a little bit of white liquid eyeshadow a little bit of be perfect um, shimmer liquid eyeshadow a little bit of white eyeliner just mix them up and then here we go. I might just go over the other side actually while I've got it here. Lovely. And then finally, let me just put this lid on this brush. Finally, we get a bit of Barry M High Vis Water Activated Liner. Spritz it with a bit of primer water and work out what we, oh, there it is. Find the tiny, tiny brush. And then go to work making it as near as damn it identical to this side it's quite hard to do With practice you should be able to get the hang of it and then just take a little line along as you would with any other sort of eyeliner and then we're just gonna um, give that wing a bit of height on the other side not going too mad because this is an everyday look And there's the trick for hooded eyes. Angle it straight down. Oh, it's a little bit bigger on this side, so I'll just help out on this side. There. There we go. And then all you have to do really is, um, let me just put the lid on that is just sort of go around the edges and make sure that everything is blended as much as you'd like and I think there you have it um, it's I think it's very pretty actually um, very simple compared to some of the other looks I've been doing recently. The lip is KVD. It's Liqu Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches. Because as we know, black is like a nude for goth looks. Put a little bit of mascara on. I'm using Essence What the Fake today because why not and I will pop off put the other lash on and come back and you can get the full loveliness of how it will appear stand by so there it is a very wearable I think and almost good um, lift from the Sarah monster 
I hope she doesn't mind me stealing her look, but I think she is one of the prettiest goths on YouTube. And I think her look is just something that we can all wear, whether you wear it to the office or to school or just every day. I think it works very, very well without being too outre, if you know what I mean. Right, well, thank you again for sticking with this. I know these makeup tutorials can drag on a tad, which is why I'm trying to keep them very short for you. As I said at the beginning, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do hop over to my Kofi account if you'd like to buy me a coffee, tea or other beverage. And as always, I am thinking about you all, wherever you are in the world. I know there's people all over the world that watch and that makes me so happy. Thank you very much. Kiss the pets. Stay safe, stay strange, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.